One of the largest icebergs ever recorded has now broken away from the Antarctic ice shelf. More than a trillion tons and the size of Delaware, the iceberg is one of the largest to ever snap off. The crack has been expanding for years. Scientists are calling the split an enormous geographical event and are studying what role, if any, regional warming may have played. U.S. officials confirmed tonight this launch appears to be a major breakthrough, a North Korean two-stage intercontinental ballistic missile. Supervising it all, Kim Jong-un. It's a missile which could potentially reach the U.S. Kim, his military leaders and scientists all celebrating. A success, declared a newsreader, North Koreans applauding the news. The missile reached 1,700 miles high landing in the water 577 miles to the east in the Sea of Japan, angering the Japanese. Experts believe such a missile might be able to reach Alaska. North Korea's military calling this the, quote, final step in creating a confident and powerful nuclear state that can strike anywhere on Earth. I want to turn now to some news overseas. A milestone in Iraq where U.S.-backed Iraqi forces are declaring victory over ISIS in Mosul. Tonight, a major victory against ISIS. The men who bravely led this battle planting the flag in the name of Iraq and its people. Reclaiming Mosul from ISIS, it's a victory, but at what cost? There's been little to cheer here for so long that soldiers and civilians took to the streets to celebrate. Today, the Prime Minister came to Mosul to declare the city liberated, congratulating troops for what he called a big victory. The former president of Brazil is sentenced to nine and a half years in prison on corruption charges. Corruption has been widespread throughout the country. And joining me now is one of America's Taizi Ferenci and to explain what is happening in Brazil. Taizi. Thank you. Well, Brazilian politics is not in its best shape right now, with former President Dilma Rousseff being impeached last year and current President Michel Temer facing corruption charges. Now, Rousseff's predecessor, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, was found guilty today of corruption and money laundering in the first of five trials he faces. According to prosecutors, Lula accepted more than a million dollars worth of bribes from an engineering firm in return for his help in winning contracts with state oil company Petrobras. Lula says he is innocent and blasted the trial as a partisan witch hunt. The communicating information in a way that harnesses quantum mechanics, so they have information in one photon that they have on Earth, and the sec a second photon that is up in the uh, up in the satellite, and they're able to transfer the information from one to another. So it's not physically transporting the object, if you like. It's it's changing the information content in a way that allows you to replicate in space the same information that you had on Earth, rather replicate transfer, I should say. 